It is a passion. I've been doing this for about 40 years, uh, researching Bigfoot. Um, it all started for me about a mile and a half down the road there. This was my playground, and that's where I've had my first encounter in 1977 with wood knocks. The theory is that they will take uh, sticks or rocks and knock on trees with them, and it's a form of communication for them. And that's what I first experienced. The uh, actual things that we find out in the woods, the tree structures, you know, there's lots of theories on that. Trees broke off about eight or nine feet above the ground, just folded over. And the theory is that that points to something. And the other tree structures are just trees that that are kind of laying in a teepee like, but they're interwoven. Uh, we had a uh, Class A sighting on August the 5th of this year. It's actually a sighting of, of, of the creature. Uh, it was quarter to 11 at night. Uh, we do a lot of work with uh, glow sticks. We put glow sticks in trees. So I was standing on a forest service road watching about six glow sticks, and one of the glow sticks went out of sight, and then it came back in, and I turned my headlamp on which is a 10,000 lumen headlamp, and it was crossing the road. I took off to where it went back into the woods, and I scanned to the right, and about 30 yards from me, it was standing beside of a tree. We made eye contact for five to eight seconds, and then it just turned and walked off of the hill. It was about nine feet tall. When we measured after the fact, it was about nine feet tall. Uh, it had long, stringy, hair. It, it was like matted looking. Um, it had no hair on its face whatsoever. None. It was. It looked like a piece of leather on its face. Its nose was totally flat on its face. It was like you could almost see up its nostrils. This uh, may seem like a bunch of rednecks in the woods, but this is a, actually planned out a lot more sophisticated than that. It typically takes us about two months to plan an expedition. The Facebook group was actually started before the sighting. It's, it's been going for a while now, and there is uh, how many? Uh, 8,200 members from 26 countries around the world. I wanted to create something where uh, folks could come and tell their stories without being ridiculed. I think there's a lot more sightings out there that's not been reported because people are afraid to report them. And I wanted to give them a venue where they could do that and not have to worry about getting ridiculed. We just try to put it put out, you know, what we do and, and what we're trying to do and because we want it all to be positive and if we all work together we're gonna eventually get to There get were some this. scientists trying to figure out the Sasquatch riddle. Then they figured out it was a missing link. Proving that the Sasquatch is real. Take a look at the plaster cast of his foot, now you know he's real. Listen real close to the audio tape, now you know you know he's real. Couldn't be a man in gorilla suit, no fucking way, now you know he's real.